Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another swatch party video. This one was kind of a random purchase. I was sitting around on my computer and I was like, you know what, I'm really curious about this particular palette and I haven't heard anyone talk about it. So I bought it and I wanted to see it for myself. It was available on Sephora. I'm confused a little bit because Sephora only got one of the palettes. So Stila came out with two palettes like this. They are called the After Hours and the Happy Hour Eyeshadow Palette. And they retail for $52. And I could only find the After Hours Eyeshadow Palette on Sephora, but the Happy Hour and After Hours are both available on Ulta, as well as Beautylish. So I wanted to test out the After Hours before I committed to the Happy Hour one as well, because they are a little bit pricey. But if you guys are looking to buy those, just so you know, they are available on those sites as well. And I'll try and remember to link them too. So as soon as I saw this, the first thing I thought was, is Pat McGrath coming out with new eyeshadow palettes? And I did grab one of my eyeshadow palettes by Pat McGrath. The weight is honestly pretty similar. This one might be a little bit heavy, but that's what these feel like. They feel very well made. They have that beveled um, shaping on the cover. Very gorgeous and a nice change for Stila. Honestly, Stila was one of those brands I would just like glance over when I saw they were coming out with something new. Oh my gosh, this mirror is stunning as well. So yeah, they've done a really good job. This one has some beautiful shimmer shades in it. So I'm going to stop blabbering and start swatching. The shade names are on the back. So... I might have to put the names down in the corner. Here's my mess. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> but yeah, they're on the back here. And this palette contains 0.80 ounces of product and has a 24 month shelf life and is made in the USA. So really, really beautiful. Oh my gosh. They do feel a little dry. The shimmer shades definitely um, have some texture to them. This one though feels really nice and uh, moist. <laughs> but here is the first row. Oh, I accidentally skipped a shade. Oh well. Let me remember to... Oh boy, these swatch... I mean, the like, look at that pink. It's beautiful, right? But then the mattes are not really doing a whole lot for me. I feel like the top row has some really light matte shades. Okay, and here is the pink I accidentally missed, and it's not a matte, it's like a shimmer satin kind of color. So this is the first row. Definitely not screaming like, oh my God, beautiful, bunny. <laughs> okay, let's swatch the next row, this first shade. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like nothing there. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I have tried this on my eyes one time already. I didn't love, love it, but that day I was in such a rush, I didn't really get to finish my makeup. And then the there's like these four very shimmery shades. So there's three here and this one down in the corner. They're basically like very shimmery um, with lots of silver shimmer. So this is the um, second row and there's that top shade that you can't see. That is an eyeshadow there. <laughs> And then here is the first row. Let me just hold up both my hands here for you guys to see the swatches. Honestly, I'm not super impressed with this product, especially for the price point. I don't think it's like, oh my gosh, run out and get it. It's the same price as the Jeffree Star Blue Bud palette, actually, if I remember correctly. So. Let me know your thoughts. Did you guys see this palette online? Were you interested in it? When you Were you curious about it? Um, yeah, I definitely got curious, which is why I picked it up and I hadn't seen anyone talk about it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.